Hey, good evening, guys. We are back. Yo, yo, yo. Hours of lockdown live. Today, uh, we have Bobby and Chu Yang is with us and together with my cat here. <laughs> okay. Uh, Wait, I'll yeah. wait for the people to come in. Uh. Come there's, there's two person now. Two person? Yeah, nine. Yeah. Say hi if you're in. Please comment. Um, guys, please, uh, let's flood the comment section. If yeah, you're in. Whoever is in here and... I cannot see who's in. Ah. Okay, Gary. Yep. Yo, nice Gary. Gary. Hi, Gary. Hello, Gary. Hi, Anthony. I see you, Anthony. Hello, hello. Dylan. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome on board. Thank you for spending your Monday evening with us. Lawrence. Yeah. Hello. Everybody got nothing to do, right? <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. Wow. 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 Hey, that's them atas man or atas that is them atas man hey what what you got my chinese tea you don't tell me it's ribena la it's a uh... con he's okay. going to start with the year <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> no i just want to hear him say some atas sounding you know? words to make our uh, make uh, our okay you got the atas okay okay, okay. You know? This is a uh, 2018 uh, red wine from France, from the northern region called Cotron. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm, sure I'm not sure I can pronounce that. <laughs> Today I, I go con, not Jaeger, it's Jeje Le Coutoir. And then he was like, Jeje Le Coutoir. Yeah, Jeje Le Coutoir. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. We've got more friends uh, in. There's Matthew, Hello. Finzan, Jonathan, Stanley, Lester, Kevin, Anthony again, and Tana. Tana. Yo, Tana. Yeah. Do us a favor. Guys, help guys, us share. This and, Thursday, uh, this Thursday, mm. Tana will be live mm. with uh, uh, Rachel uh, and, 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 and Thomas. Do Thomas. watch this video as well. He put right. it as under 30, right? It, it exposes Thomas's age. <laughs> Everybody thought Thomas is around our age, right? Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So, Thank you. Uh, there's quite a, quite a lot of you mm. here. So once again, welcome to another, another couple of hours with us on Monday night, Lockdown Live with Horizon. Weekly, our weekly... Hours, uh car buying guide uh q a so you throw us your car buying questions and uh you can decide between either my sensible advice or bobby's poison <laughs> jeremy, okay. jeremy oh. lee look at that way he was like hello guys hopefully if i'm watching this episode i won't get poisoned by bobby the seafood but, but you see the thing is that by taking the initiative to watch this episode you are looking for poison so something Whoa. is itching inside yep. you, right? And can you, you know, when there's itch, you just got to scratch or it will just keep on itching. Con, can you count how many people I've ratchun into getting their supposed, maybe they want, maybe they don't want, right? And then I'm the guy who like, goring, 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 goring. I think, I think if, I, if, 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 if the sky were to drop one ringgit for me, every time that happened, I'll be rich by now. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right so uh today we've got chu yang and as we all know chu yang uh he's our our fellow presenter he also he also has a day job selling cars yep so no, we are bringing bro. His, what that is his his day job is not selling cars he is bringing people their dreams Right. So today, Chu Yang is uh, going to show us. Uh, to, to, today, Chu Yang is also going to share with us some insights on what happens behind the scenes when he works to bring you your dreams. Wow, hmm. oh, that rhyme too. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Ah. <laughs> Gary is an icon now on the S5. I hope you're ah. happy with the S5, Gary. Yeah, it's a it's a fabulous <laughs> choice. Fabulous choice. Okay, <laughs> so before we get started on the Q and A session, right? Uh, I think it's time to to start off with some messages from our sponsors. 
Ah, yeah. Um, nice. Yes, one of our sponsor for this round is actually BBCC. Yeah. So um, I don't know if you guys are aware about it. This is like uh, one of the biggest mixed developments going on in the heart of KL now. Yeah, and I just uh, watched your video on this over the weekend. I, I'm so I'm so privileged to be to be invited to look at their their work in progress. You know, actually visiting a site. Uh, makes me really appreciate uh, the people who actually shape our cities. You know, they plan and they shape our cities. And this whole plan, if you this, I mean, uh, who has been to Tokyo? Chu Yang, have you been there? Tokyo? Yeah. You, you yeah. sound like someone who has been all over the world. So, you know Rokongi, right? <clears throat> In Tokyo? Yes. yes. So, the main planner, designer of Rokongi is the same company that designs this. The township planning, oh, the whole wow. flow, and all that, and uh, Ooh, that makes in. sense. So it's a mixed development uh, where it combines office tower, residential, hotel, entertainment, shopping, food, culture, and the best part is the first in Southeast Asia, Sony Zap Hall. So Sony Zap Hall is in Japan, is in Taiwan, is in some countries. As you all know, Sony has like the most artists under their belt. Right. Yeah. So they find them all over the world, and Sony Zap Hall is equipped with like the most state of the art sound system, audio visual, and all that. And uh, they're gonna have a Sony Zap Hall here, which means if you stay here, you're gonna have really easy access to, I mean, post COVID lah, huh? post pandemic, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. So it's it's like a one stop with everything and with. Uh, LRT, MRT, monorail, all integrated in their transit hub. So you cannot find another such mixed development with like all mm. uh, conveniences in one stop. All right. So Lucentia is their luxury residences uh, with this in, inside BBCC. And um, they have 450 units, 450 square foot, 550 square foot, 650 square foot, and 850 square foot. Unfortunately, all the smaller ones are sold out. Uh, it's just the 850 square foot remain. Oh, this, this one, one I saw. Two rooms. I saw your video. The lay, the way they lay this place out is brilliant. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting because clever. 800 square foot is actually yeah. small, but they retain yeah. a very big uh, hangout yes. area where the yes. living room and all that. And then they split the rooms to two sides, so you have maximum yeah. privacy for mm -hmm. both rooms. Mm -hmm. So yeah, pretty interesting. So for those yeah. of you who are interested, um, do check it out. Do yeah. check it out. Uh, the prices are, if you think about it, right, the closest that I can seem to compare is uh, Pavilion Residences, which is nearby, a stone's mm. throw away. And this one is half the price of that in terms of per square foot. Mm. So it's pretty good value uh, launching now. And yeah. you get all the uh, amenities. Uh. Yeah. All right. So that's a shout out. Thank you to our sponsor, yeah. Yeah. EPCC Lucentia Residences. Yeah. Yeah, so guys, uh, Bobby had a very thorough walk around video of this place. Go, go, go to his channel, check out his video. All right, yep. and uh, and now we have moved on to marvelous. Marvelous. I think this is uh, a few rounds already that we 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 spoke to you. I guess everybody is now sort of familiar and understand they yeah. they they are out there. Uh, last time you only have can choose between PBF or yeah. ceramic coating that that time. Yeah. But now you have another choice which costs around the same as a ceramic coating, but it has the self-healing virtues of PPF. So yeah. that's the selling point. And my 6 Series is going through it. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it's currently stuck. And uh, these are some of the cars that has gone through. Ah, the, 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 the Nissan GTR, come back. Okay. The front bumper, the bonnet, the wing and all that is all forged carbon. As yeah. you all know, carbon will have a... a a coating, not coating, like the transparent coating on top, right? They get yellow over time. Mm. And with this, it prevents that. All right. Mm. And uh, uh, marvelous, you put it on, you know, it will be there for five years. All right. Yeah. That's uh, the the lab, the Gallardo, which is the only one in Malaysia with the uh, 300 over 1,000 ringgit body kit. Liberty Walk. From Liberty, Liberty Walk. Walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. And this car now packs 1,600 horsepower. You know that day I actually saw the saw them really go and scratch this car. You know, then then yeah. after that, I walked closer, right? The scratch was gone already because it was, because it was under, under the sun. 
under the sunlight, pop, the, the thing just heal just like that. It's like nothing. You cannot do the demo under the sun. You do the demo under the sun, right? You scratch, it keeps healing. It keeps healing. Yeah. So yeah. you have to do the demo indoor. Yeah. Uh, at best with a strobe light on top. Ah. With a fluorescent light on top. So you yeah. can move your camera, let the light goes across it. Then yes. You can keep the yes. Light. Then yes. only you apply uh, like hair dryer or hot water, then it will heal. Uh, 30 over degrees, it will heal. Anyway, yeah. thank you so much. Uh, so anyone who is interested in Marvelous, you can actually go to um, uh, club.evomalaysia.com. You can place your booking there. Booking is only yeah. 500 ringgit, but you get uh, 800 over ringgit discount of yeah. the, the price. All right? Mm -hmm. So go check it out. Yep, that's it. Value. Now we come to Evo Club <laughs> Insurance. Last one is uh, Evo Club Insurance. Oh, we have some great news. You guys, I think everybody already know that uh, you can actually buy this insurance, especially these two years, right? It proved that this product is right, right? We yeah. get people asking, <laughs> I'm, I'm not driving my car, you know, what's the point? And you know what? Today, I actually tell uh, S-Class boss, right, who's S500, he's buying, mm. and I said, uh, one, you need the flood. You're not going anywhere, mm. right? Why do you need the the windscreen? Since you're not going anywhere, you know, just buy the cheapest <laughs> yeah. one so that you're legal, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah, and we have a good news. I was just informed like five minutes before our live, we can wow. do new car registration. Oh. We will be able to do new car registration now because I have so many uh, salesmen, car dealers that come and ask us whether they can, you know, become a. a an agent and all that, right? Yeah. I just yeah. got the confirmation five minutes before, but it will be a slightly different process. Uh, Chu Yang tonight will share with people on car buying, right? Because mm. there are a lot of processes that uh, car sellers who are, who, are, who are in the business who knows it, but we, we do not know, yeah. right? So uh, when you buy a new car, uh, when you when you want to do your insurance, at a, you are given a temporary plate, right, Chu Yang? Yep. Then only a week later, you get your desired number plate or something like that. And then you have to go there and update on the insurance, you know. So these are the things that, that will be different with a renewal through the, the our website, which is super easy to use, right? So yeah, any one of you who are about to renew your car insurance, really save the money. What's the point? Alex Stamrock just renewed his uh, California Ferrari. Uh, Ferrari California. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was like, "Wow," <laughs> you know, because last year he did not uh, do it with us, right? So when he renewed, he was like, "Wow," uh, save a lot of money. So Iskandar yeah. Jamaluddin just said that I just renewed using this last week. Even with the windscreen coverage, it's the cheapest amongst few quotes. We'll see, thank yeah. you, thank you, Iskandar. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you uh, for your support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we hope. This thing can help Chu Yang also in Chu Yang. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, again, mm -hmm. thank you so much to uh, our sponsors. All right. Okay. So uh, while we are on the topic of uh, of Evo Club insurance, a lot of people know that you know the five thousand how it works. Five thousand kilometers save forty percent. Ten thousand kilometers save for ten to twenty percent. Fifteen thousand kilometers save. Uh, 10%. But a lot of people are still unclear as to what happens, right? If let's say like you renew plan one and then you hit 5,000 kilometers before the year is up, what happens? Okay. So uh, I'm going to just take a few minutes to refresh people's mind. So the thing is that, right, generally, regardless of your usage, we actually encourage that you renew with plan one anyways. Why? Because let's say like once you renew plan one, 5,000 kilometers, you hit that 5,000 kilometer limit, you can top up to the mm. next plan with just by paying the difference, no extra charge. So yeah, you can no top penalty up, one. No penalty one. Just top, you have a maximum of two top ups a year. Mm. Okay. And in and in present climate, don't don't you you, you, you even if let's say you can hit 5,000 kilometers, how likely are you to even exceed? 10,000 kilometers or 15,000 yeah. kilometers, right? Yeah. And yeah. and this this uh, this feature of the product means that you even if you are a heavy mileage user, you can use Evo Club Insurance to stagger your insurance payments into three installments, three zero interest installments across the year, mm. Mm. right? And the other thing is that um, let's say la, let's say things are not not looking very good for you. You are really short of cash. 
by the time you hit that 5,000 kilometer mark, you can hold off your top up, okay? And you will still get third party coverage, which is the minimum required to keep your car road legal while you have the, so that you can have the money to eventually pop up to the next plan at a later, at a later date. Yeah. Now keep your car going for the rest of the year. Got it. Chu Yang, yeah. why when you drink, you want to cover? Uh? No need. Uh. Cheers. Family friendly one. I also drink beer and I also smoke my e-cigarette. Uh. Yeah. Thomas, yeah. Thomas also keep drinking one. Uh. Oh Thomas, yeah. uh, Thomas yeah. inside Thomas. Uh, Thomas. So uh, <laughs> we boys. will be we will be uh opening up to uh car salesmen only for new car registration, people who yeah. sell cars, car dealers, and all that. Mm. And uh, there are some people with a lot of uh, connection or whatever, then then we will allow them to, to become our referrers, you know, because yeah. every referrer actually would cost us money. So mm-hmm. we, we need to make sure the referrer are actually people who uh, actually actively help out there helping people to to renew their insurance. All right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Chris Wee is in. Hey, Chris. Hello. Yo, Chris. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. <laughs> Thomas Orang Atas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, guys. Oh, one more, one, just a little bit of housekeeping. So if let's say, like, for example, you have typed the question and you realize that uh, after five minutes, we didn't answer, maybe it's just like too high up, ask, yeah. type and ask again. Okay, don't be shy. Yeah. Don't be shy. Yeah. Just type until, yeah. you, until you get an answer from us. Yeah. Gary just Stand. mentioned he saved, he saved 1K on his S5. Yeah, yeah. So think about it. S five, uh, the current market value is what like one hundred twenty about there. Yeah, yeah about right? that. Wow. And uh, you save one k. That's so that's, that, that's that's a lot. <clears throat> that's six months free road tax for your S five. Yeah, and uh, HP last year we all know what happened to his uh, Lexus, so <laughs> you don't get any any NCD accumulation, <laughs> right? But yeah. uh, when you look at the the difference. Uh, because he doesn't get NCD, right? A, a, a value of sixty-eight thousand. The insurance is two thousand plus, way. So two thousand zero something. So with with uh, pro mileage, uh, yeah. with Evo Club insurance, is about thousand three. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Haris Iskandar has a very long question. Oh, uh, Hello, Haris. Wow, Abang Hit. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Yeah. Haris is one of those. M5 V10 owners, ah. <laughs> yeah. Harris Brave is some type is somebody who I grew up reading his stuff on newspaper. So he's an absolute legend in our industry. So great to have you with us. Okay, con, come. Okay, let's 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 take. Okay, so let me pose you this question and. There are plenty of desirable vehicles in the 50 70 k, but due to the age. No loan available. Most are on cash terms. Without sufficient cash in hand, mm-hmm. buyers are unable to purchase. But at the same time, this places even more pressure on sellers, especially deal. Um, Arisa, the question is like, stop there. <laughs> no, maybe what he's, he's saying is that, especially yeah, dealers. Yeah. yeah. So he's saying that if you are a seller, you want to sell a yeah. car that is yeah. around this range and the yeah. car is more than 10 years, no loan yeah. facility. And yeah. the seller mm. is actually pressured by the maybe the dealers, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, will pressure the seller. Actually, uh, yeah. I think I'm a good example because my first car was a eight year old uh, Audi A4. Yeah. And because back then, uh, Audi is as popular as Saab is now, la, <laughs> right? And nobody buys Audis back then, <clears throat> and it's considered a very a uh, rare brand, you know. Mm. So when I when I got my car loan, right, it's a freaking six percent car loan <sighs> for an eight year old Audi, which is a left field brand, and the banks only gave me a six percent loan. In the current market condition, right, let's say even if a bank is willing to give you loan for an eleven year old car, right, they're gonna charge you a sky high interest. Right. Yeah. So if it Crazy. is a sky high interest, tell your buyer to 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 pass his document, help him process personal loan, see whether he's willing to take it. 
and tell him the benefit of personal loan is that even if you drag the payment, no one's gonna drag it, no one's gonna tow his car away. <laughs> it's gonna be similar interest anyway, because yeah, car, I mean uh Chu Yang, what's the car interest rate now for new cars? Two percent? Around there, depending on if whether or not they have their in-house financing. Okay, if it is around two point one, two point two. Yeah. Oh my god, that's very low. Uh, for very for good. used cars, for used cars, like you you operate used cars as well, right? Yeah, but depends on the age of the car and popularity. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. So there's yeah. no one blanket statement that goes across everything. Normally, but what's the go, range? Um, uh, right three now, to four plus, right? Within five years, within five years, around three to four. Hmm. Uh, older than that, it will go five to six. Five depending to six. On what car, some right. So there are a lot five of personal six. loans out there now that are. Three. Stop, stop. Tahing says personal load rates are two point something now. Ah. <laughs> are you bro? So guys, if you're buying a new car, get a personal loan. And and personal loan, the loan interest rate is calculated differently from a car loan, right? Yeah, yeah, I would believe so. Yeah, so yeah, two point something percent personal loan. Why take car loan now? Right? No. You, 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 you you hitch your car and then if you if you if you delay a, a payment and then, then they can come and tow your car away right you take personal loan to buy car i mean what's the problem so that means yeah yeah m5 bro <laughs> m5 Guy says, wow yeah yeah Kahing say what personal loan yeah two points uh, fix, the, the, it's a it's a fixed fixed interest rate like two points only i'll oh. use personal loan to buy cars eh? yeah lo. yeah personal loan okay thomas is, oh, is just itching like to cars, ask so. about his ferrari 430 and <laughs> uh thomas you can find n430 man cannot find ma right but if you buy the 4.7 it's going to produce the same horsepower as the n430 the n430 is actually from the 4.3 you know, mm. so 4.7 get 430 horsepower as well. Yep. Uh, yeah. Should Thomas should Thomas get an Aston Martin Vantage or Ferrari F430? My my word goes to the Aston. His balls are Ferrari. Ferrari. <laughs> Ferrari. <laughs> Ferrari. Ferrari. But stop or not? But stop or not? But no, Ferrari no. really really uh, different uh, You get the whole. It's club, different. Uh, Correct. Yeah, interior also yeah. different. <laughs> Echo S M four interior. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I Johnny Chan said personal loan one year is two percent. Anything beyond that, the rate is higher. Yeah, true, true. It goes higher yes. if you if you go for a longer rate, right? So you mm -hmm. apply one year, then you apply from another bank one year, then another bank one year. <laughs> <laughs> So you always get 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%. Backlist. You can have backlist, ah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think the banks are smarter than us in this matter. They will counter check with other banks. It's no. in a centralized yeah. system. Uh. <laughs> no, like how car dealers say, uh, I know, uh, just tell the bank that you're selling your current car. <laughs> uh, yeah. Easiest hack I ever. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty familiar with this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's a question from Nicholas Kwa. Is there any way to import cars more than five years old? Chuyang, can you share with us your expertise in this matter? Okay, so imported cars, you can only import cars from the uh, 13th month. Yes, 13th uh -huh. month up to the 60th month. Yeah. So it's not actually uh, five years as most people generalize it. That five yeah. years, of course, equals to 60 months. Ah, but you yeah. need to calculate in terms of months, not yeah. years. So is there yeah. a way to import more than five years? No. The five to 25 year is a is a gap that cannot be imported. Unless, of course, they, you do they push it to 30, stuff, Is it recently? They push it to 30, right, recently? Was it? The classic car is 25, no? From what I Recently, heard, then I'm not sure. Two years ago, I think they raised it to 30 years. Oh. 
Yeah. I mean, yeah. it was something I heard lah. I, I, I don't so, know. So that was that was why some of the 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 JDMs, especially the those like 26, 27 year JDM, their value suddenly rocketed. Chu Yang, just now you mentioned from the 13th month onwards, right? Is registration mm. or import? Or, or, or manufacture. That means can I import a car? Oh, that means I can, I can import a car that is 8 months old or 2 months old or brand new. Then uh, it will be in a bonded warehouse until cannot, the cannot, month. Cannot, cannot, No. It can only, only be a okay. Yeah, it can, no. It cannot be shipped up. Okay. Otherwise, if within that uh 12 month period the car is shipped yeah. out it reaches malaysian shores the customs check it then everyone in that circle kena, which means mm. your dealer kena, the ap holder yeah. kena, or this yeah. company kena, everyone kena mm. because this is trying to smuggle in an illegal item into malaysia understand mm. understand so only by the 13th month can the car be shipped out from the country of origin 13 months oh. from the date it was registered at the country of origin or from manufacture? Registered country of origin. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Whoa, Joseph uh, Proven said uh, classic oh, cars not, now must be 35 30. years. That's wow. why, that's why. Whoa. That's why those, those, <laughs> the time all those, the Sylvia's, the what, I remember there was time they just... Hmm. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. For local, so, oh, okay. Holy wow. shit. I but better that. than Thailand, uh, Con. Thailand huh? has a straight ban on anything five years and above. Totally cannot muscle. Thailand. Anymore. Yeah. So overnight, right? Like the, the V10 Audi RS6, right? Uh -huh. Before that, it's about the same value as us, about 110k, 120k, right? Overnight, it shot up to like 350, 400k. Because because there's a finality to it, you know, you cannot <clears throat> yeah, totally yeah. no way. <clears throat> yeah, all the old cars in Thailand suddenly you only go out. down in supply. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Uh Tan Tan Hao is asking, can the car be disassembled? Is it and ship as spare parts and reassemble again in Malaysia? <laughs> uh, that would be illegal. Car can. You can disassemble and, and sell the car as parts, but you mm. cannot reassemble it because you can't register the car. <laughs> and I think I think I think if I'm not mistaken, right, the car has to be cut. The the chassis mm. has to be cut before you can bring it yeah, in. Yeah, right? yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh oh, Chu Yang got customer, Sam Tio. <laughs> <laughs> you, you put your booking you, you, down. You, you put booking Chu Yang in for you. I find for you now, we are auto trader, are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. For, for, for anyone who don't know, right, you all can actually walk up to any BMW dealer and tell them to import any new cars that you want. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Just yes. that if you, you just pay, yes. you, you just pay through the roof. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, Young, uh, you, you, you know that. Come. Mm, know what? <laughs> I thought you want to add anything to it. Uh, yeah, mm. they can, they can spec. Spec it whichever way you want, and then you, if yeah. you're willing to pay, they'll, they'll be willing to bring it in for you. There was there was one gentleman who bought uh, an M340i sedan before BMW Malaysia announced that they were going to CKD it. Yeah, oh, yeah and he, he had it imported all the in from Germany. Ah, yeah, mm. that, 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 that awesome guy, right? Ramesh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. You can watch one of my, my recent videos on my channel. Super cool guy. At Super least he got cool that. Guy. He was lucky. The color that he got wasn't introduced in Malaysia. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Thomas, okay. usually Thomas you asking. pay quite a lot lah for for yeah, uh, customizing and order. Oh, right. oh. Are, are we still on that topic? We can yes, move yes, on. yes. Yeah. Come, come, come. Have to pay a lot okay. for customizing. You have to pay a lot for customizing that order. So mm, what that yes. means is, for example, you look at uh it especially doesn't make sense next to ckd models uh. you see for example mercedes the c300 sedan and the c300 coupe is also ckd is it but well, the prices coupe are generally CPU. quite low coupe, coupe is cpu okay, okay. ckd is uh sedan yeah mm. so if you want a c300 convertible from mm. mercedes-benz malaysia the down payment is 30 percent of the car mm. price which mm. is somewhere around 440 50 Estimating mm -hmm. 
usually how you estimate this price is uh, just 100k at least 100k mm. on top of the sedan variant mm. Mm. Ah, so that's how we estimated uh, a value of 450 oh, because ckd sedan more or less should be around that range uh, yeah then customization some more then it will be mm. around 400 450 mm. oh, 30 percent mm. down payment then mm. they customize the car for you they ship it over for you at least three months uh, considering the current COVID climate, all the logistics issues that happen to everyone, I mm. would say six mm. months easily. Mm. Ah. Yep. yep. I, I remember uh, about 10 or 12 years ago when I first entered the industry, I heard a case whereby a Mercedes customer actually placed a special order for a SL. I don't know SL which model. Mm. And uh, of course, he had to pay whatever down payment that was required for them to process the whole importation of the special order. Lah. And then he wanted a car in orange. And the orange paint alone costs 100 grand. And, uh, <laughs> and not only he has to pay the amount for the, for the booking, and he also has to pay upfront the, the 100k top up for that weird color that he opted. Lah. And when the car arrived, he was in some situation and uh, he didn't he didn't process with the whole thing and it was forfeited. Mm. That's what I heard. That's what I heard, but I don't know whether it's true or not. But it's interesting from industry people. When I entered the industry, I heard about this. <laughs> mm. So what, 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 what would it be, uh Chu Yang, if you if you face something like that, right? There's like a 30% uh, booking and then some weird shit order. And then when the car is here, the guy couldn't process the loan or the loan couldn't go through and the whole deal have to like cancel, but the car is already here. It's forfeited, right? We have to eat the shit, though. Oh. <laughs> but the, amount, that actually the 30% happens. amount that that person paid returned to him. Uh? The 30% depending case to case, ah. Uh. Case to case normally uh, you guys are not the official we are not uh, we are not official ma, so it really depends on each ap dealer and how they see this kind of case most they will swallow up the 30 percent uh, because mm. i have a car that i don't intend to take in without your yeah. order yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's not part of my regular inventory then some of the <laughs> yeah. 100k orange color it's like <laughs> no way i'm gonna sell this i need as much compensation as i can get yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> orange is like the oh, weirdest right. color you 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 really, yeah. really and for see S -class. Orange. only in the S -L, gt3 S -L. gt2 yeah, yeah. Only, yeah. orange is like popular ah, color <laughs> yes yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> for the e92 m3 e ugly <laughs> no, but, but you know i think that was at least a factory color la, right yeah at least it's yeah, a factory yeah, yeah, color yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, do you know that no, when, when no, I don't have the M340 IA Touring, sorry. I, I don't oh. have, unless you want to intend an order, to customize an order, and kind mm. Just don't put it in orange. Please <laughs> <laughs> not in orange. In Danish, <laughs> in Danish, you want to sell that car. <laughs> Con, do you know that back in 2015, when Porsche brought in the, the GD3 RS, right? Uh -huh. the, the, the booking fee to express your intention to buy is 300k. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, booking booking fee. <laughs> Wait, what's this? What's that? Is this? The CX75. Ah. It, it didn't go into production now. Eh? Oh. oh, okay. <laughs> Nicholas Kwa said, orange, okay lah. Toyota 86 is acceptable in orange. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's mm. close. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the G20 M Sport is also acceptable in orange. G the G23 series. I, the three series. <laughs> got orange, man? God, God. I, I know the F30 runoff model got, got one that is close to orange one. It's the yes. same. I think it's roughly the same orange one because they were transitioning the paint, the paint oh. thing, the, the, the paint mm. tanks. Okay. But not, the not orange looks the very line. weird without M Sport body kit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You cannot have an orange car without all the 
aggressive go fast pitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Without a big spoiler in black. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah, yeah. That to, totally to totally express one. your intention to <laughs> so that your camera can focus me better when I'm on the track. <laughs> uh, so your autofocus can can catch it. Hey, McLaren, of course, lah. Paulus, those yeah, are super of cars, man. Mm, yes. orange, imagine orange an SL. Six mini. Imagine an SL in orange. My God. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. All right. Come ah, on. Edwin has questions. a very use very wide, widely usable question for everybody. What's the maximum bank loan margin for this type of cars, both used and econ, convertibles and coupes? Chuya? I okay. The thing is, banks, are, banks are very realistic. If you are rich, they will give you what you want. If you are mm. not rich, they will not give you anything. It's that simple. So yeah. when it comes to yeah. uh let's cover let's cover new and recon first, because uh, they are the most uh the, the yeah. closer yeah. group. New and recon for bank loan margin, we see cases go up to uh, for convertibles uh, go up to 85%, 80, 85%. Mm. Yes. But never 90 la. 90 special cases, yes, but uh more applicable to coupes. And if mm. it's a popular coupe, for example, uh Carrera, mm. 992, very popular mm. car now, mm. a financial document very strong, you ask mm. for 90%. Mm. You say you got trade in, and it happens. It happens not every single time, but it happens. Eighty over over declaring over declaring the selling price over declaring selling price. Oh, oh everyone does this, but it depends. <laughs> Doing there's a there's a gray area here, lah. So obviously, sometimes it's you know mm. can be can be looked down upon or shunned upon. If mm. a little bit for my morals, it's okay. If for example mm. the car 900k you over declare 50k okay what okay la. yeah if the car 300k you over declare 600k then i ask you to go die yeah, it's, it's ridiculous <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. you know that there was a period in time where before you i think before you joined the business of selling cars it was back in 2013 or 14 right there was a short period of rule change mm. all right whereby uh uh the buyer has to pay uh how do i put this uh the 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 booking fee you know the dealer would say that mm. oh the buyer already put uh 20 down payment like mm. that, right the 20 percent down payment has to be paid to the bank to be dispersed back to the dealer what was, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Right, right after I bought my S4 Avant, right after I bought my S4 Avant, this rule came in for a very short mm. period of time. It screwed up everybody because last time they can just say that oh the, the buyer already paid uh 20% or 10%. Oh. <laughs> that time, right? The 10% has to be paid to the bank and then the bank disperse back together. Yeah, mm. to prove that you have the prove that you, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah. And, oh. then, and then they reverse it back because mm. he was devastating. Way, <laughs> yeah, they reverse it back because it's so suddenly people, so much, so few, so much less people so buy cars. Can buy car, <laughs> cannot buy car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So okay. back on uh, loan margin, it depends on what bank as well. Our favorite is Maybank. Maybank mm. is steady. Uh, public bank is steady, but not for, not really for convertibles, uh, sport cars. So how mm. banks, different banks see cars differently. Mm. For example, uh, usually they don't look at convertible or coupe. They don't care whether what body type it is. Mm. They care about the amount of doors on that car. Oh. Two door equal sport car. <laughs> Correct. So, That's the general, you know, some okay. banks say this way. Like, two door okay. equal sport car. Mini okay. sport car. GTA uh, say, nah, okay, stuff like this, of course, sport car. Lah. Any yeah, coupe yeah, yeah. that has two car, two, two doors is a sport car, therefore they can only give you sport car loan. Oh. Which is which is average 70 to 80%. Oh. Mm. 
So yeah. if hashweb or five door means <laughs> hundred and ten percent. <laughs> no, uh, uh, four door, four doors, so then. Uh, uh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. so so it's not the box. No, no, so it's just down to the number of doors, lah. Some banks see it this way. Some banks then, just go like okay, then, Porsche. Then, doesn't then, matter if it's Carrera or Cayenne. Hmm. Porsche, this brand only makes sport car. So the bank is like Cayenne. I don't care. It's an SUV. It's a sport car to me. So okay, I then, only get sport car door. Okay, then <laughs> Suzuki Jimny also is two door. Eh? Uh, they will classify that as SUV because you're uh, paying <laughs> SUV or tax. So a Range Rover Evoque two-door is also classified as an SUV? Yeah. Or passenger car? Uh, yes, SUV slash passenger car. Most of it is the same. So that's why you okay. see new Volvos can get loaned up to 90% very, very easily. Uh, yeah, Mercedes yeah, as well, yeah. any of their, you know, GLB, GLC, then get easily yeah. up to 90. Uh, uh, more practical uh, cars, safer cars, cars that are in demand, have high volume. These kind of cars yeah. always have yeah. higher bank loan margins. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think everyone was asking convertibles and coupes, what's the normal bank loan margin? Uh? If it's unwrecked, it's somewhere there. Uh, so, five to seven years, 70 to 80%. If bank loan document not strong, they will give you 65%-ish. Interesting, uh, because two door cars. Okay, let's not talk about supercar, uh, But two door cars generally have better <laughs> resale value. Okay. Yeah, back in yes. the day, exactly. back in the day, your Fiat would be a would be a sport car, really. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what you yeah, yeah. say was true, you know, uh, Con. Uh, yeah. When I when I was applying loan for 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 the Aston, right? I mean, I was really yeah. trying my luck, lah, Right? Yeah. Every single bank rejected except Maybank. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Maybank. Because I was, was like really on the verge, you know, and it's like trying, oh, you know, yeah. whatever, whatever shit also throw in and uh and because because even before that with the with the Volvo is I'm already like 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 super limited mm. already, right? Mm. So mm. yeah, Maybank because eventually also got yeah target market they want to target. Mm. Some banks only want to do uh business from the super rich. So mm -hmm. whatever, if you're super rich in their eyes, they, you are their VIP, they give you all the best stuff on loans that mm -hmm. other banks can only imagine to give you, they give you one. Mm -hmm. Then some banks want to conquer uh, their target market is the used car market. So mm -hmm. that bank particularly will do very well in the used car market, offer up stuff packages that you know other banks cannot do for the used car market. Some mm -hmm. specialize in uh, new cars or unread cars, econ cars. It depends on... Mm. Ultimately, uh, the consumers will go to the will go to the banks that give them the best deal, right? right. Or your relationship, um, then of course they will give you also long. I think yeah. I think I, I I don't know whether we are we are we even in this stage of go for the bank that gives the best deal because because uh, most car buyers are just oh please approve please approve ah, please approve. <laughs> That's true, right. also. Right, That's right. true also. Provided the uh, super rich, of course, the super rich like 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 Chu Yang's clientele, right? They will be the ones who tell the bank, uh, I'm by the beach, uh, you come and bring the document over. <laughs> <laughs> right? Exactly, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. Ah, yeah. He ah. sent to you, uh, not free today. You're playing golf, ah, eh? <laughs> Yeah. You go to my office in my desk. Uh, that's my pen. You bring the pen first, then only come over. I only use that pen to sign. Wow. <laughs> hey, Con, I heard of what you know. Last time I heard of a friend's friend uh, in Pahang. Uh, mm. The the Kementian, what I uh, wish is the department to do passport one. Uh. Immigration. Immigration, right? Yeah. They go to their house, they go to his house to renew passport for him. Uh. <laughs> He don't even need to go queue up the renew passport. Uh. <laughs> the Pagawai go to his house to renew. Uh. <laughs> well, that's that's winning in life. Oh yes, that's yeah. mm. <laughs> you know, so, it's one thing to be rich, it's another thing to be powerful. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so yeah. coming back to reality a bit, Sky here asks, what does the what is, how many doors does 
does the bank see the Hyundai Veloster having? <laughs> Honestly, I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Yeah, lor, I think they, that, I think they will probably classify this as a sports car. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, uh, Con, remember the Europeans have a bad habit of calling the hatch a door. Mm. Yes. Yes. Right. That's why like door hatch door hatch from their, from their magazines. Sure. Oh, the Peugeot 208 is three door. Like, what three door? There's a hatch at the back. You don't go in <laughs> yeah. from there. That's not a door. Right. Exactly. It's like it's like, come on, that's every time I read European magazine, I was like, that's that's the silliest thing to, to even describe, you know. <laughs> three door, five yeah. door. Yeah. Uh, yo. uh, okay. Come on. Uh okay. Here Sam has, a, has an interesting question, a pertinent question. Is there any difference between loaning for a brand new car versus recon car? No difference, right? Not much. My new differences depending Provided on Provided your recon car is four year old, then there will be difference, right? If your mm. recon car is already four year old, when you bring it in. Yes, yes, yes. Right, if it's, right? Uh, right now, if you look at 2016 mm. cars, then there might be a more noticeable difference. Uh, but end of the day, it's still within that range if you're comparing it to the same car in new market. At the end of the day, the difference is really the interest rate, right? The loan tenure they will give the same. <laughs> God, oh, God. Yeah. Because because there might be some Nissan dealership here where they still have 2016 Infinity brand new for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. 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 2016 yeah. brand new Infinities with Mercedes engines. <laughs> 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 okay, so HP just explained why he didn't highlight that question. He said there's a cockroach that invaded his laptop, so he need to kill it ah, before yeah. he come back to highlight comments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yes, we are on our own for now. <laughs> okay, is, is there a, think, just just change house? <laughs> uh, Anthony was saying, is there a specific reason two door car in need for lower margin financing? I think it's an old bad habit, right? Yeah. That Two door cars, you don't need it. That's why you don't need to take as high a loan. Yeah. Uh, or it's a second car, so you need to pay more to prove your financial capabilities. Yeah. It's a luxury item. <laughs> yes. That's how uh, they see it. It's a luxury item. If you mm. want to buy a two door car, that means you already got your the rest of your life settled. That's why mm. you don't need a two door car. You already got a four door car. You already got you know your SUV or whatever. This is your second or third car. Therefore, luxury mm. item. Ah, mm. okay. So, uh, all right. Let's see. Profilus asks sliding door differentiates MPV to van. I think this one uh, I'm not sure though. I've, I've, I have no idea. Door MPV. I don't think so. I think, I don't I think, think so. vans and MPVs both are sliding doors. Right? Mm. Well, technically, they're both vans, no? Yeah. No, Actually, there's a government, uh, government categorization. You know, oh. so uh, that last time when Toyota brought in the answer, yeah. so they mm. started, the first time when they brought it in in the mid two thousands, it was sold at what sixty nine or seventy k or some shit like that, mm. right? Mm. The answer because they they register it as a like a commercial vehicle, mm. and then it got it got a very low tax <laughs> or almost non existent tax. Yeah. Then uh, they were selling by the loads, and I forgot yeah. which car maker spoiled the party for, for Toyota. I forgot which car maker brought in a similar car and also tried mm. to register as, as commercial, couldn't get it through, then point at Toyota. Why he can, I cannot. Why he can? <laughs> <laughs> then government is like, okay, he also cannot. Then suddenly <laughs> the answer price boom, went up to 90 over. So, <laughs> so, so I remember this thing happened. It's, it's damn funny. Overnight, the car just went up by, by 20, 20, 30 k. Damn. <laughs> What's the thing? Mac MPU is lying low subject to max 90 kilometers highway speed because it was considered van. I don't, don't think so. I don't think so. so it's only many alpha is terrorizing everybody on the highway. Right? No, uh, yeah, no yeah, and, and wow. uh, Honda Free, Toyota Sienta. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. uh, yeah, 
X4 okay. or Audi Q3 Sportback X4? Yeah, X4. Um, totally actually, the Q3 Sportback is an X1 segment vehicle. Or X2. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's, mm. it's finished better though, the Q3, but then it's, it's small. It is it small. Is. If you sit inside the car, it's way and, smaller and, than the X1. And this is not Q3. Uh, this is Q3 Sportback. That uh, means lower yeah, rear yeah. roof line. Mm. So Yihang get the X4. Yeah, yeah. Easy Sam asking me how many years I loaned the RS64. I forgot it's seven or eight, but I always go maximum. I'm hmm. someone who, if the bank allow me to it. loan, if the bank allow me to loan twelve years, I'll go twelve years because the interest rate is so cheap now. It's like yeah. two point something. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm a cheap skate, so. Uh, by right, I should be someone who is uh, maybe buying a, a 320i, you know. But then I I I enlarge my my kunji and then I go stupid. So yeah, <clears throat> don't follow me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, hey, we have a lot of questions that we miss, you know, on yeah, top. Yeah. Uh... Uh, well, Fizan says aesthetically, will the new will the latest new Mazda three liftback still be a head turner in five to ten years time? Point for debate. HP, stop, stop the katak. Okay, 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 okay. Mazda three liftback. What's a Mazda three liftback? The hatchback, lah. The hatchback, hatchback Mazda three. Is it called the liftback? Yeah, they call it the liftback. Called. Is it? Yeah. They call it the liftback. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Mazda need to learn how to name their cars. <laughs> That's like the most, that's the so 80s, 1980s name, right? Like my mom had a Corolla with a lift back at the back. Oh, yes, the Corolla lift back. The Corolla lift back that looks like the Audi Quattro. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, <laughs> the square head lemon. <laughs> yeah. So the Mazda 3 hatchback, of course, it's a, it's a, it's a head turner. Right? This car, right, the yeah, design yeah. of this car, right? I think the, the car that is nearest to the design mm -hmm. of this Mazda 3 hatch that I can see. The, what's that, what's that, what's that? GTC Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, profile, yes. But I mm -hmm. was saying, um, profile definitely is the FF for the GTC 4 Lusso, right? Looks very similar to the profile. But I'm talking about the even the, the body work, how it's sculpted, right? Oh, yes. Mm. yes. It's like a Roma, Ferrari Roma. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, these you know, type of cars, right? They 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 last way. The design will last. Yeah. And and yeah. you notice that they don't have a lot of lines on the car. Mm. Yeah, all yeah, yeah, yeah. Pure body it's work. Curvy, yeah. It's all. It's really yeah. like right. You see it. It's 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 as if as right. The car is really made of clay and sculpted by hand. Oh, mm. beautiful! It's beautiful. very nice. It doesn't yeah. look too modern even though mm. it's just within yeah. this one or two years you see many on the road i mean it doesn't yeah, look yeah. like modern what like yeah. what lexus is doing now with their origami mm. cars. yeah all the yeah. hard lines right those cars yeah yeah, yeah super lexus is, is the, <coughs> the lexus is like the other end of the spectrum like mm. the time when mm. i drove mm. the mm. ux i was like wow i think i was i, I had like 15 minutes just looking at following <laughs> lines all around the body way it's crazy the ux right the yeah. rear, especially the rear. Yeah. yeah all the it's lines. And, 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 and some lines are just suddenly <laughs> abruptly end with without resolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh okay, Wei Xiang here asks. Okay, like this one, this one, I don't know, I'm not sure is it planted by Thomas one or not. <laughs> Can it be M25i or A45 facelift? Uh okay, like in this case, my word goes for the M two three five I, M two three five I, I. Mm. rear wheel mm. drive, the sound. Mm. Even though mm. you you lose out to an A forty five lah in almost any foreseeable road. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, right, <laughs> cannot yes. chase the A forty five. You don't don't chase the A forty five, right? You can't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the A forty five is crazy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. bro, you let me drive a okay. Carrera, a normal Carrera. I don't even dare to chase the A forty five. No, 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 no. <laughs> no way. Yeah. I think like what you said, the A forty five is is the is what we call the fastest real world car. Yeah, mm. no, that would be mm. the GLA forty five. Ah, uh, GLA forty five. Because A forty five need to stop for speed bumps. 
Geometry only. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of cars are faster than the GLA 45, you know, let's say on Sepang or what, but if you want to go PJ to Chiras, <laughs> you probably want a GLA 45. <laughs> <laughs> that, that thing is just crazy crazy yeah. fast yeah 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 uh okay so sam teo said says he loves the mazda 3 but gonna bobby's poison for the f10 what Good did choice. i poison f10 did i, did I? <laughs> I think you just did uh, I? either way congratulations <laughs> but if Another you spend one. 160 000 to buy an f10 then you will know if you look into Muda, the other F10s that are being sold for 80, 90, you know you'll be there in a few years. <laughs> Provided you go for like, you really balls up. If 160K is your budget, if you can squeeze up to 170K, you can buy an M5 F10 and you use your road tax to offset your depreciation because your car would remain at 170, 180 next year next year next year next year it's just gonna be it's just gonna remain there mm -hmm. and you actually save money yeah mm -hmm. provided your car don't implode la. right i just uh, i just watched a video you know i just watched a video a uk video from one yeah. of the uk drive uk car groups that i joined right there idiot just say that oh me and my brother just picked up a boxster it's like those you know 2005 2004 boxster right the first mm. gen what is it called nine nine eight, six, 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 six. 96 mm, yeah, 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 yeah. So and and we can see uh, the video start with the the car is on the highway. Then you can see a GT wing at the back. The rear hit the rear tail lamps are tinted. You know mm. some rubbish rims. You know and then <laughs> he's in his car. His brother in the boxer and his his posting is like um, me and my brother just picked up the boxer and this happened. So we can you can watch the video. The 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 boxer is like bah! then right in front of him like whoosh, white smoke all <laughs> come out. And then mm -hmm. I'm like, who the hell bought a used car that is almost 20 years old and wrapped the bejesus out of it before you even bring it back to home, you know, get it checked, get it maintained, you know? <laughs> He's asking for it, you know? It's like <laughs> somehow mm -hmm. a, a tinted tail lamp with GT wing. That's 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 bad yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a red flag right there. <laughs> that, that owner could be some 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 Polish guy or some Russian plumber who works in UK. <laughs> <laughs> Damn funny, right? Okay. Actually, okay, today so we have something we want to ask Chu Yang, right, Con? Yeah, Let's say yeah. if if uh, if okay, a lot of a lot of us we, we do not know the process. Like we want to buy a car. Let's say we yeah. saw a car and um, we rely on that salesman in that dealer lot to process our loan, to process our yeah. insurance, to process all yeah. these things, right? Yeah. But actually, it's actually not difficult for us to go to our own bank, which is behind our house, to apply a car loan for that car, right? Chuya? Yeah, it's the same thing. What do we need yeah. from that dealer? Uh, if we want, we are interested in that car. We don't know whether we are able to get the loan at what interest rate or not. Depends on what market you're shopping at. Uh, okay. for used car, new, used car. For used car, okay. For used car, you need first of all, uh, industry calls it VSO lah, vehicle sales order, or at least a quotation. Oh, okay, ah, yeah, okay, yeah. Not, yeah. not yeah, just with the rest card the, Just the rest card cannot. You need that too. The rest card. But I think the reg card is 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 what you give in order for the bank to so sort of like give you a, a what you call it an estimate of how much loan they can give you, right? A quote, uh, okay, before we continue, guys, guys, before we continue, please share this because this is the part where Chu Yang will actually let you know if you're buying a used car from a dealer lot and you actually want to process all the things yourself, right? how easy it actually is instead of just waiting for the salesman to tell you oh uh, waiting la, or can only get this interest rate la, <laughs> you know things like that all right please yeah, help yeah. us share it okay right Chu Yang, mm. how what do we need from the dealer it's very simple you mm. need a vso which is the vehicle sales order or at least a quotation mm -hmm. for that use car mm. yep. number one number two yep. you need the current mm. or the registration card mm. Mm. okay so mm. if that car is locally assembled, 
Then mm-hmm. it's much easier. You don't need any any other documents. You just it's just these two plus your mm-hmm. own personal documents, which is your uh three to six months bank statement la, and then what else? Your uh, your IC, your license. Uh, just yeah, just sleep with your employer, employee. If yeah. the car is an imported unit and sold uh, yeah. as a used car, then you need the AP associated with that uh registration card. So total six mm-hmm. items. Yeah, but if yeah, let's say are... like, if let's say like the now the thing is that right, let's say like if some somewhere along the line right, one of the previous owners misplaced the AP, then what happened? Uh, then you need a special approval from the bank. You need to tell them this is what happened. Dealer cannot find, a previous owner cannot find. I need a special case approval for this. Usually this will impact the bank loan margin that they give you, as well as oh. the, the loan tenure. Usually this will be so, a so, negative so, impact. So, so those of you guys who buy uh, fully imported cars, it's best to keep the AP document. Yes. Right. Yes. Because it, it, to reissue it, it, a missing a missing JPJ Reg card is very very easy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But the AP very, is. Yeah. But mm. Chu Yang, the dealers that brought in these cars, right? They don't give mm. us the original AP, right? They never give us buyers the original AP, man. Yeah, they give you a copy. But you uh, must keep the copy. Why uh, do they not give us, us the original? For us, we do give. Mm. From what I've heard, industry doesn't give. So I, I think like, wouldn't it be such a hassle? Like one guy come and want to sell car, then it's like, you need to pick back your AP. It's very, mm. for me, because it the original sense. AP, the original AP has the mileage, right? Has the real yes. mileage, right? Yes, yes. Ah, so they okay, all, yeah. all, every time they photo set the, the paper, uh, the mileage cannot see one. Oh, this one not clear, this one not clear. <laughs> <laughs> then they adjust the mileage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. For us, we don't, uh, so it's like, you want to take off, oh, give you everything uh, to see. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. the AP paper with mm. the red rash card mm. and then the VSO, uh, yes, and oh, our, oh, own, okay. our own credit papers, then Your walk into the bank and say, I want to apply car loan. Uh, I've never walked in. Uh, you just call and then they will get their yeah, auto loan finance guy to call you. Because usually the people working in the front is not the same. Oh, true, yeah. true, true. Then you just email that person everything, right? I just lump email, compare, send to them. It's like, okay, I need to apply car loan. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, then the bank tells you the loan is now approved at blah, 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 blah rate, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. And then you, uh, what do you do? You tell the dealer, oh, approved already. Oh, yes. yes. The advantage, okay, let's take a step back. The advantage of you applying through the dealership is that the business is, uh, no, the bank is dealing with a business rather than an individual. Business is easier to track for the bank. Therefore, you need the smoothest process is through dealer. Yeah. Okay. So for yeah. us, we yeah. usually just ask the customer to uh, pass directly their personal documents to the bank. Mm. And we contact the bank that uh, we submit all the car related documents to the bank. The bank gets mm. the document from the customer. So the bank consolidate everything and then process them. There are some customers with us that mm. want to do the loan themselves, in which case we provide them with the vehicle quotation or sales mm. order. Yeah. And <clears throat> the other documentation, rash card, la, AP, la, uh, mm. other documents, Lump, give to them. They go apply mm. their own loan. It's perfectly fine too. Hmm. Well, uh, Harris Iskandar right, just, uh, just mentioned that the original AP is submitted to customs. It's written to customs. Is it's it? like the original copy. So the, the customer only retains the uh, photocopy of the original AP. Photocopy of the original AP. Oh, that's what uh, the other car dealers tell us. <laughs> I don't think we submit to customs. This one, I'm not sure. This one, I'm really not sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 No so, Chu Yang. Uh. Okay. Because because some customers they don't want all their private documentation to be exposed to all the car salesmen and all that, ma. So that's why they mm-hmm. they, they rather process it themselves, right? Mm-hmm. So, so uh, when the bank, think, uh, tough yeah, of course, of course. What I mean is, some people just felt you know privacy. Yeah. Uh, some people are yeah. paranoid with their privacy. Yeah, mm-hmm. like like every day on Facebook. Sudah berjaya, and then when they submit their bank documents, their bank account all kosong, you know. 
then, then, then maybe they don't want so many people to 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 know it. So so uh, I want to ask. Okay, now the bank has tell you that okay, the loan is approved. Then mm. I tell the what do I tell the dealer? I you... go and pay the remaining amount to the dealer, and then I do what? Approve already. They will give you the documentation for the for the signing loan yeah. signing ma. Yeah. Okay. So after or before you sign. Mm. You can just show the dealer. Okay. Before, after, it doesn't matter. Right? As long as you have the financial means to support this car. Yeah. Or yep. the dealer is like, oh, okay, look, then you can get. Look. Then oh. so you show us. Then uh, after you sign, mm. then only we can give you the car. Man. Otherwise, you take the car, then you don't sign. Then it's like, what the fuck? Right? So you sign. Mm. Then we can only be allowed to pass you the car with the full balance paid. Mm. After full balance paid, you need to sign a uh, delivery order, which yep. means you hereby agree that you know I've gotten the car and the, the bank will disperse the money to the dealer. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, so, then okay. Now the dealer say that okay. Uh, okay. Now, now, now we, we sign the document with the bank already, and then we also pay the remaining amount to the dealer already, and then uh, the dealer would. What do, what would the dealer do? Register the car under my name. Yes. How how is the registration process done? Registration uh, process. There's uh two main mm. government departments that you need to visit. All right. Which is one, Puspacom. Yeah. And two, DPJ. Yeah. Puspacom send the car for inspection. No? For inspection, yes. After mm. you inspect, then only you bring to JPJ for uh, your registration. If it's used car, if you want to do interchange, stuff like that, you need to pre preempt Pusparcom to do a inspection for interchange of number plate. Then only okay. you can do the interchange of number plate. You just take the car as is, then it's just inspection, then go to JPJ and cancel your previous owner name to the new owner name. Okay. That's the part yeah. where 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 it, it, it's a bit because when you are let's say you're buying from a private seller, right? <clears throat> You reach JBJ yeah. to cancel his name, right? The, the money yeah. in your hand, you know? The... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's <laughs> a bit iffy if it's private seller to private buyer. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Then you organize postmark on everything yourself, which is kind of a hassle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Usually, if this person is not, you know, it's a little bit more, I don't, I want convenience, I don't want hassle, I would just yeah. ask them to get around. Yeah. It's just the to easiest what, way. What? As then get a runner. runner. Ah, 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 ah. You know, Normally, you know, they places 500 ringgit more or less will settle everything already. The runner so, stays in line for you, organize Puspacom for you, uh, mm. then at the JPJ, stand in line for you. <laughs> because, because, Triang, I've, I've done this process quite a few times. And like, mm. I myself mm. was at JPJ, and then, uh, the person on behalf of the seller come here, then all the paper you take, I take, he take, then come back, <laughs> you come print, then he take, then he come back. Uh, I I I I've been there quite a few it's times. A mess. I, it's a I mess. I do not understand. I do not understand. Then later the 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 the, the runner told me, uh wait uh, wait uh, uh wait for JBJ to update. Uh, up, up, update what update or oh, update. They ask uh, update already. Not yet. Uh, not yet. Wait. Uh, wait. <laughs> what the hell is that? We are standing in front of the counter. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry, Con. You were you were wanting you wanting to. Oh, I was going to say just now. Chu Yang talked about private buyer to private seller, right? Uh, hmm. that day Tana was just sharing with me his experience selling his A6 hybrid. So of course hmm. his 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 A6 hybrid still had a, a loan balance. He sold to a yeah. private private buyer, yeah. right? Yeah. So what had to what he had to do, Tana had to do, he actually had to fork out money to clear his loan first mm. yeah. before he can sell the car. Yeah. Whereas if That's he had cool. say say sold the car, if he had let's say like sold the car to a, a, a used car dealer and let's say or trade in for example, right? Mm. The use the dealer could have handled you know let's say okay dispose of the car straight away pay off the bank and transfer do the transfer to the new loan and all that thing. Without him having to fork out any money, but whereas if you are doing private seller to private buyer, mm. if you still have money, you know you still have money you owe the bank, you have to fork out your money to clear yes. your loan first yes. before your transaction can take place. 
I Correct. Con, I remember when I saw my Subaru Legacy, right? Huh? I sold it to the back then the GM of uh Sang Yong. Yeah, yeah. What oh. is his name? <coughs> Vinesh. Uh, huh? I think it's Vinesh. Yes, 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 Vinesh. Yeah. yeah. So <coughs> we actually went to the bank because I insisted we arrived there that day. On that day, what is the remaining amount will be the selling price of the car. Hmm. Right. So I I I I don't want to 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 sell at a higher price. I don't want to sell whatever. Uh, I, I don't even want to give him any discount, hmm. you know, uh, and uh, yeah, so we went there. I remember he, me and him in front of RHB and, and he was paying up to the, the cents on, <laughs> right, yeah, to the bank to, to like clear and then we go and JBG, I forgot already. Basically, I've done this many times, but most of the time I was not paying attention. I, I, I don't like uh, doing all these things. Yeah. So, so basically you just sit there and, and people tell you, ah, you go here. Ah, you go there. Anything. It's just like ways, you know. Yeah, turn left, turn right, turn left, turn right. How do you arrive there? Ah, no idea. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Right. And uh I think that's I think we've got all it covered, right? Insurance yeah. would require the the uh, you you have to contact an agent to do for your insurance. I Hardly think you can do it yourself unless it's pro mileage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, plug, plug, plug. <laughs> Insurance, there is a there's something like a temporary plate to register for oh, new cars. Plate. Right? For new okay. cars, how is the insurance done for new cars? New cars insurance is done before you get the car. So you don't need a temporary or substitute plate for the new car to be uh actually okay, the only part where the new car needs this trade plate is on the way to Pustakom, yeah, yeah back to the dealer mm. on the way to jpj to register then new plate already. then this is the but, owner's plate oh, oh. immediately <laughs> la. because, because <laughs> actually by right why do you even need a temporary plate to register to, to register I mean, be, because the, 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 the treatment is there for you to drive the car legally before it has yes. an insurance, mark, right? Yeah. Before it has the insurance and registered number. And yeah. and your insurance will be attached to your car's chassis number anyways. Mm. And road tax also, road tax also. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. So what, why the hell a new car needs to go Puspacom? Apart from letting Puspacom earn money, why does a new car need Puspacom to check? What's there to check? Right. What nonsense? No right? comment. Okay, no comment. Yeah, no comment. No comment. No, but yeah. apparently, don't comment. A, a CKD new car is exempt from you. You don't have to do it. CKD new car. I, I heard of that also. I heard of that also. Mm. But uh, more cars don't need to go post my comment. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I... Oi, con. Six hundred thousand is... cars a year, brand yeah. new. Yeah. Each three hundred ringgit way, <laughs> and ah. times and, and, and many of those right will be times the times the used cars that were traded in. Yeah, a lot of yeah. money. Yeah. Okay. I I hope everybody is sort of clear with this whole process. I'm yeah. sure a lot here are pros like Chris Wee. Chris Wee has done this. Oh, yeah. I think yeah, Chris I think Wee can do this. Nice, Chris Wee. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've, the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've done uh the weird things I've done is like a uh, halfway change number plate, you know. So own the car already, then you change number plate. You need to uh, go to Sparkom inspect again. Yeah. Do another mm. inspection, and yeah. then only you, you get to change the like I intend to change the 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 BMW plate. Uh early next year or something. Uh, I asked Lewis. <laughs> I asked oh. Lewis. Yeah. yeah. I look at Perlis. You know, my, my two guys, R-A-E. I was like, uh, mm. R-A. Bro, bro, bro. Help me book R-A-V. He's like, huh? Bro, Perlis, oh. Two years later. Cannot book so many. Cannot book so many. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's funny. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> two years later, the police very slow. Police, <laughs> police is now where R A 
RAJ or something. RAJ or something. Uh, RAJ, RAJ, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyone with the name Raj, go for now, a police so... plate now, eh? Yeah. RAJ. Yeah. RAJ. You have plenty of time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, mm. let's come back to. <laughs> Thank you, Chu Yang, for sharing all this knowledge with Wisdom. us. Yeah. Yeah, man. Wisdom. Yeah, man. Uh, okay, let's come back to the questions. Oh, a lot, eh? A lot. Okay, uh, just now, uh, I spotted. Okay, S40. Salt, salt. Girish huh? is asking S40, second gen pre facelift. Wow. Very old already. Eh? Second gen pre facelift S40. That, that would be, be the one with the 2.45 5 5 cylinder. It has a 2.25 5 cylinder. Huh? Second gen S40. I only remember yeah. the the, I the, don't the know. <laughs> that's the one with the, the that's the one where at the final the final final facelift they update they 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 launch it with the two liter two liter engine and power shift gearbox on. That one very late really, bro. Uh, yeah. he said pre facelift. Pre facelift, pre -facelift right? Two point four. Pre facelift, there is the five cylinder turbo, right? Yes, that'll be the T5. That's yes. the 2.2. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 2. okay. 2.2 or 2.5. Uh, I don't remember. Uh. Five mm. cylinder. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, these cars are too old to judge on their inherent reliability. Mm. It's really up to their, their, their previous, the previous owner. Really. Yeah, yeah. It can mm. be a Corolla, but if the previous owner is a piece of shit, it's going to break down. Same, all right? Yeah, but the, the upside is that it's really affordable to buy one now, lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, sulfide plaster asks why IS two hundred T not marketed as much as RX two hundred T. The the I simple answer just, to this question is that no, no market. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. The the interest in this Lexus in the IS already, right? There are not enough big around. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Volvo uh, like. I remember there was some point Volvo and Lexus more or less the same, but now Volvo just like yeah. There was also one point where 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 <laughs> Volvo and Volkswagen were about the same. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that was many years ago, lah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, there is uh anything anything else you want to share, Chuyang, about? Uh, this guy asked. Wait, this guy asked. I saw a question just now asking why is all dealers the processing fee different? <laughs> why, doesn't, why doesn't the used car standardize processing fees? Where goes yeah, the no standardized kind of thing, but what's the average in KL? I actually forgot already. What's the average now in KL? I think it's I two three. Know. Yeah, about there. Okay. Right. Yeah. Penang is 1.8 to 1.9. But yeah. you see, the thing is for, I mean, the way I look at it is why don't the dealers just bundle all this into the price of the car if they are going to charge it anyways? Come, you are smart. Okay, look at it this way. You look at Muda, look for the same car, same year. Why yeah. is it KL is always the cheapest? You search nationwide, and if you yeah, buy by yeah. uh, price from low to high. KL is always the cheapest. Yeah, because correct. Because they sacrifice the car price, then they mm -hmm. take processing fee and add on top. Yeah. So end up Penang cars always are very expensive. People always say, why go Penang buy cars so expensive? Processing fee is much lower. And it's usually within that standard. Whereas in KL, I've heard Cases where it goes up to 3K, sometimes even 3.5K, mm. which is a bit ridiculous. Huh? So, mm -hmm. you know, to make but, it look that the car is very, very cheap, well, below market eh, by how much, how much, then they top up with processing fee for you to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> but, but Penang, Penang people also want to buy P plate cars, ma, right? Use cars, car. they, they prefer to buy P plate, right? Penang cars? Penang, Penang customers? Mm -hmm. Some, not all. It's because not in, a, to their mind, it's like, oh, this one just drive within the island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right, right, right. Not a and, lot, lah. God, lah. Uh, God. Ah, uh, 
ไปซีดับยูนะเนี่ยแหละโอ้ฟังไฮมาลีชอ่าอันนั้นอันนั้นผมเออสิบีไล W w e n t often go elsewhere they come มาเพราะ but actually right ทุกอย่าง the thing is that right with with all these processing fees at the end of the day the buyer the the it all has to be laid on the table before the buyer signs to purchase the car anyway right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right it right. cannot be it cannot be like oh when the buyer take the car only a see now ah three another three k huh or well, such thing cannot be right? it has this to be on the this is consumer mindset lah consumer mindset how you <coughs> click to that car to get the quotation in the first place because cheap ma you yeah. get the first step in already ma then only oh this one ah brother two k ah or this one jpj all this ah one k ah then and then it's like ah fuck then It doesn't look like such a big scary amount at first. Hmm. It's doled out slightly. Con. Brother. Before hmm. Muda and Carlis, uh, came up, most dealers sell car everything lump in. Hmm. When, when you walk up to the lot, you ask how much they give you a price. They already counted in all their margin, oh, all the right. runner fee, everything. Hmm. All right. But because of online portal, right, it forces everybody. Because of the habit of sort by price, huh. Thomas doesn't know this. Right? Because we all sort by price, right? If your price isn't the cheapest, you won't appear on yes. the first page. Your all chances right. of getting indexed is so no, much lower. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You need to. You need. You see, okay. I was involved in the in the in the planning of like the back end <clears throat> last time. Not involved, lah. We were we were there. We were discussing and all that, right? So when 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 they create the 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 thing. For the dealers, right? It's like you can you can see your click through your your your. Let's say you have a Vios versus mm-hmm. all the other Vios. You know what's the average click for all Vios? What's the average click for your Vios, right? <laughs> you notice hey, my my one so low one below below the average one. So if you adjust your price lower, right, yours will go up. Right? So right. the chances of someone landing in your dealership is higher if you can press the price down crazy. Mm-hmm. Even KL now, right? Now they are using what tactic? The car at their lot is eighty five thousand, right? They advertise seventy eight, seventy six. When you arrive, oh, the one ah, the one I saw already uh, yesterday. Yeah, this one same mm. color. Uh. They use mm. this tactic now uh, because at the end of the day, everyone is trying their best to press down oh. prices, right? Yeah, to grab the 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 buyer, to grab the attention, the traffic only. You just ah. need a chance. Well, on this person right? Game, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I find such a such a tactic a bit more acceptable, lah. Right? Because at the end of the day, when the consumer walks through, sees the car, he sees the car, and okay, this is the price that that this car is being offered at. Mm. Yeah, I mean, for me, I'm I'm the kind of person that like when I the last time I went to I dealt I dealt with a used car dealer, I said I said boss, I only got this much money to pay, including insurance. You sell or don't sell. That's all. <laughs> So I said, you lump in the <coughs> processing fee, what fee, what fee in that. This is the net to- total max I have to pay. Mm. That's why. Yeah. That's why now I. That's why I always say, I always tell people that that oh, you look at car prices in 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 Muda and Carlis and whatever, right? For used cars, lah, Joya. Mm. You don't look at what price they put. You know, you mm. you your own buying price, your your own budget, right? Yeah. Let's say you 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 want to buy a uh, uh, like I said, man, right? Your budget is 90k, but 90k you can only buy 320i. But actually, you want mm. 328i. Mm. You insist 90k lah. Whichever, whichever you go, wherever you go, you see, you ask, you offer 90k. You sure you you are definitely able to buy your car at 90k, mm. 100% mm. Right? Mm. most yeah. of the time. Mm. Even mm. though the market value is 110, say for example. You just need to cover a few more dealers. Mm. Yeah, you just need to yeah. work harder, lor. Yeah, lor. Like yeah. Lor. Somebody out there is desperate. To Is to let go of their stock, yeah. yeah. For whatever uh, and, reason, and if they bring their car to dealer, right? Dealer gonna press down easily, press down twenty thirty k, right? Yeah. Because you know, don't know how long the car will stay there. You know, right. have to stop this, stop that. You know. Uh-huh. So, so one thing I want to say is that a lot of people have this impression that oh, used car seller or 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 tipu one lah. There are bad apples, but most of them that I I I that I see. 
they're, they're just making a living. At the end of the day, yeah. they're just making a living. They are, they are not. Uh, <laughs> True, yeah. Are not, uh, star dealers are not a charity, right? And I think if we recognize the fact that at the end of the day, they, they, they need their margin to to yeah. to make the, to provide. To, to yeah. the business going. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I rather empower people with knowledge so mm. that you go in with full knowledge mm. and when you saw a good car, if you, you have the knowledge... You can identify. <clears throat> yes. You, you have the knowledge to tell whether this is a good buy or not. You don't freaking care whether that dealer is a nice guy or handsome or, or good customer service or not. Because yeah. you only deal with the dealer for maximum that two, three weeks when you are buying that car. But if you are mm -hmm. able, because, because, you know, I, I, I have people who come to me and say that, ah, Bobby, uh, can you introduce me some trusted used car dealer? There are trusted used car dealer, but doesn't mean sometimes they bad luck, they end up with a bad car on the, in their yeah. lot, mm. right? Or yeah. a bad car dealer, luckily, end up with a good car there. Yeah, because ah. uh, I think, yeah, we cannot be, don't forget that used car dealers have no control yes. over the quality of the stocks that come into them. Yes. They only choose whether so, they want to buy or not only one. So when you know how to tell this is a, a good deal and you have the knowledge to justify your decision and then you calculate at the back of your head whether you can turn on any mishap that happened or not. Mm. But you just want to secure the deal first because you know it's a good deal with the knowledge that you have and then you put up with potentially a bad dealer i mean you put up with it mm. you know just just get the nice car that you wanted but of mm. course there are good great dealers like like chu yang which will make sure you know customer service and all that lah. and this segment is not sponsored by chu yang <laughs> <laughs> because okay because we got western motorsports as uh as a sister company mm, right mm, mm, not mm. tied to not tied to the recon side but as a sister mm. company Bobo and uh, you are taking two salary, uh, now, right? Yeah, then from there, it's uh, the cars that we trade <coughs> maybe from Volvo. If this guy wants to upgrade to XC60, XC90, or whatever, or mm, mm, mm. Uh, he trade in already that car, we will mm. send it to Motorsports for refurbishment. Yeah, so yeah. anything that has significant wear and tear, we change, mm. replace, mm. Uh, can repair, then we repair then that receipt or that job is tied to the car. Mm. Mm. When the used car, you know, wherever buyer comes in, they want to ask about this car, hey, why are your prices all expensive one? Why every single car is above market rate one? Because yeah. then we take out that, you know, this, 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 this is done. Yeah. 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 And this is done at our cost price. Yeah. 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 Because it's, you know, internal sales, man. we do at our cost price, then mm. it is included in the cars, uh selling price yeah yeah one you take if you don't want then there are cheaper options on the market but i can <coughs> almost guarantee you almost mm. say a hundred percent that <coughs> this car will be better conditioned than every other used car <coughs> of a similar range that you see okay. so that's, that's why how even bad cars can end up with good dealers and mm. good cars can end up with bad dealers this process streamlines the quality a bit and make sure that at least it is 80 percent consistent 80 percent of the time yeah yeah, yeah. so guys that's why okay. chu yang don't need evil cloud extended warranty because he has a they have a workshop they fix up the car first before they sell it to you after they sell it to you you can go back to their workshop to take care of your car you know to to get warranty and all that you know and like a, like a period of the, the guarantee yeah. so so they don't need this so yeah. for, for me i mean that's the best scenario because uh if you buy a car where the dealer will take care of it after selling it to you that's that's really important coming back to the part where we spot cars right when i when i how i ended up with this this rs6 is I saw another RSX red color, and at the time that was the cheapest in the market. That car, that, that car was asking like three fifty, so I just mm -hmm. bought because my S four is old ma, I wanna sell ma. So I called, then the guy said, "Oh, just sold." But I have another. I, I heard another guy has another unit maybe for sale. Uh, I pass you his number. Uh, okay, so that person called me. And then they said, oh, you're looking for RSX. I, I have one. And I said, okay, 
Then he sent me the pictures. Then he sent me the pictures. Then I look at the picture. And I was like, mm, okay. Um, quite okay. Lah. I look at the picture and all that. Then, then I was like, uh, how much this guy is selling? Oh, 300. Oh, 300? 300 is, is like, you know, like, it's like, 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 dead cheapest. Even now, the, the bank, uh, even now, the insurance valuation of the car is about three, three, 360 or 380. Anyway. Ooh, sweet. So, so I, I, look at, I look at the picture, the price. Then I was like, uh, then, then he said that, oh, but the car is still with the owner. Then I was like, oh, who's the owner? He said, oh, uh, Dato, blah, 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 don't know what. Lah. He said, okay, so if I'm buying, I'm buying through you or buy through him. He said, oh, you're buying directly with him. I'm just the, 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 his, his runner. I said, okay. Then if I want to confirm, I pay you, what's my guarantee? And, oh, you pay the owner directly, your, your, your booking. I said, oh, then you give me owner's uh, bank account and, and name. Lah. So he gave me the bank account. I look at the bank account. That's exactly the name that he mentioned. Then I Google search. Oh, I can see this Dato, you know. So he said that this car was his wife one, which is a celebrity. So when, when he gave me the, the name, I, I Google search. I Memang can find this Dato. Pretty famous, you know, with the celebrity wife, you know, blah, blah, and all that. So to me, all the information at hand is everything just correct. Ma. So hmm. what I did is what I always tell people don't do, you know. I didn't even see the car. I only see the pictures. I transfer 10K. <laughs> <laughs> because I transfer to the name of this Dato, which is someone that I can find online, and every information that I was told uh, matches yes, up. Sir. Yeah, and to me, at the back of my head is how I mean, I've driven Audis. I know they are not ridiculous to to maintain or to fix, right? And to me, it's like my previous car got six cylinder. This one only two cylinder more. <laughs> only, only two more spark plug, right? It's like, what, 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 what can go wrong? I mean, alternator, you know, and all that. What can go wrong, you know? So to me, I was like, if the car they are still using, and if they are so rich, very unlikely this car would have, you know, any any big issue or whatever. So I just like, for the price that I'm getting, what's the worry? Let's say the engine died the next day, some warning light came up. I go and fix it. I mean, what can go wrong? Check lah, maybe, you know? So I just took the plunge without considering much because it's, it's such a huge difference from uh, the market value. And in fact, I got a full loan because the, the bank valuation of the car is higher. I, I, I got uh, literally I paid, I paid nothing except the 10K. You know, I paid nothing. Hmm. I just sign, 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 sign. Then the car is, is ours. Then we slowly pay every month. That's it. So, so, so it's about empowering people with the, the, the knowledge of being able to judge whether you think it's a it's a good enough deal mm. or not i yeah. think that, mm. that, that part is important but of course uh, darren found something the reason why they spray painted the the rim black color is because apparently i think the car went into some big pothole or whatever one of the rim cracked so it was spray so, painted black so that to cover the, the, the yeah luckily uh darren spotted it that's why we need oh. to get a new set of rims. The rims. but mm. to me again that's within that's that's not within my expectation, but at least it's within my 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 how do I put this uh, my troubleshooting capabilities, you know, mm. upon getting mm. the car. Mm. So mm. Yeah, mm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Right. Okay, right. Right. Uh, we go back to oh sorry, sorry. Uh Jonathan David Vincent is not Satya Auto. Satya Auto is the dealer where I got the Aston from and uh in, in Cheras. So that one also, by luck, you know, spotted a car there. I'm not sure if it's, it's slightly above what I have purchased before. I don't know whether I can achieve that that loan or not. I just try at that time, you know. And uh, yeah, eventually got it anyway. Uh, hopefully my, my income can sustain, you know, so that I can keep these cars, you know, can, you know, make sure... Because the responsibilities are pretty huge. Or I can work yeah. for Chu Yang to sell cars for him. You know, work harder. <laughs> the best will be the best broker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, someone okay. asked you Why to you? explain uh, leasing program. Uh, Chu Yang, Volvo leasing program. I actually don't know. <laughs> because no one uses <laughs> 
I actually I don't think, know. No one uses. Uh. Actually, in 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 in, in glo global US Europe market, leasing is the best way to buy cars, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Right. It's it like. And, as, as, and especially, right, if you are already, like, you know, you're mentally, the type that you have mentally conditioned yourself to find paying for a loan acceptable. Mm. Leasing makes makes a lot of sense, makes sense on many fronts because, firstly, you don't have mm. heavy down payment to worry about. And, and mm. most importantly, at the end, when it's time to end your contract, yeah. You don't have to worry about hey, how much more do I owe the bank. You don't. exactly. You just exactly. You either stop paying, yeah. Or you extend your contract or you upgrade. But which then, exactly. but then the cycle repeats itself. At the end of your tenure, you just wash your hands clean. Oh, okay. Right. You know and those those people people who think that hey, you don't actually own the car. You know, like renting the car. Hey, nobody actually own the car. Yeah. Right. You and, are and, borrowing and, money from the bank. Yeah, to pay mm. the dealer so mm. that the bank allow you to use the car by the car. paying them back per month. Per month, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and then it's entirely up to luck. Entirely up to luck whether your resale value matches your bank. Correct. Correct. You know, depreciation. Correct. Ah, loan yeah. repayment. So if and your if, matches, your, if your yeah. if your depreciation drops faster than your your loan repayment. You are stuck with the car for a bit longer than you may be stuck with the car for a bit longer than you intend to. Yeah. Or you need to go to your bank to withdraw an amount of cash to put inside the car and then push the car down the yeah. seat. It, it, the, it yeah. it the it's like not only you are letting your car go, you are paying people money. Hey, please take my car away. Please take exactly. my car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Exactly. <laughs> and, and the thing is that, right? The, the other thing about leasing is um, uh, I mean it, it all depends. You have to look at the of I mean you have to look at the terms and conditions. But yeah. most of it will include your insurance, will yeah. include your road tax, will yeah. include all your servicing. Service, money. blah, blah, and all that. Yeah. From a budget also. standpoint, you don't have to be pre you don't have to be caught unprepared for emergencies. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Most of the time, probably, if let's say anything happens to the car, you may even get a one for one replacement if it's like something catastrophic. Mm. Right? Mm. Leasing, so leasing like your, is the best best way because you 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 sign a contract with the car maker, yeah, right? Yeah. And then you pay them per month. Yeah. And then when the contract is up, you return the car. That's it. Yeah. You have no hassle of yeah. looking Who's for a buyer. Looking for buyer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't have all one. these hassle. And, and the other yeah. thing, the other thing, a lot of people harp on about with leasing is that your monthly repayments for the same model of car will mm. be higher compared to paying for a bank loan but yeah the way you i look at it is you are you are taking all you are also taking all your like what i said earlier your insurance your road tax your maintenance maybe even your your nasty surprises like certain you know failures major repairs mm. you are averaging it out over the years so yeah what it means that your, when it comes to your budgeting for your for your car, let's say like your lease is two thousand five hundred a month, you really just budget two thousand five hundred a month. Correct. Plus petrol and that's it. Plus petrol and yeah, that, that's it. But I'm I not felt, sure about buyers, lah, though. But I felt the local car makers are not daring enough to mm. to really be bullish about this method of buying cars, because think, right, if you think about it, Akon, let's mm. say uh. Like the XC90, for example, yeah. brand new 400k, right? Mm. Uh, a four year old XC90 should be 200 plus. Uh, yeah, 220, Sorry, 220 uh, XC90, uh. four year old XC90 should be 220, 230, right? 220, 230. Is it TA, TA, TA? TA around. I thought it would be a bit higher, 260, oh, I'm, I'm 70. Just huh? Okay, 260, 270, right? Okay. Uh, I, I know, I just know that the resale value is, is higher than... Let me see. The thing is, okay one, one. Yeah. If you think about this, uh, uh, if you lease the car for four years, right? Yeah. Or, you know, some people, they, they, they own the car for four years and then they sell and buy a new one, right? Yeah. The car is 400,000. If after four years, the car is worth 270, Mm -hmm. Right, the mm -hmm. car maker should just 
sell you the car, right? Mm -hmm. Based on hundred thirty thousand. Because the car is worth two sixty after four years, right? All they right. should have just immediately take out two sixty from the price of the car. Yeah. Right. And you are paying repayment for the hundred thirty k amount. Yeah. Yeah. Which is way lesser than paying the repayment for four hundred k. You think about it, right? At the end of the day, when you sell the car, this is how much you are selling it anyway. Why, at the first place, work so hard to pay the full amount? To get a loan that that you, that's supposed to pay the full amount, and then you have this much per month, right? Mm -hmm. And then you it's so difficult, but at the end of the day, you still sell the car and and cover right. the bank. Mm -hmm. right? right. So mm -hmm. so actually, if the car local car makers, I I know overseas they have this kind of plan. Right? Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. It's fantastic. This kind this this type of plan, and I always believe that for car makers, the long term business model should be this one because. Every single car is an asset that you all lease out, and not that is like generating food. cash flow on a monthly basis. Generating money for you all, just like a, a a mobile phone number, right? Can you imagine you buy your mobile phone number outright from day one? Let's say you are eighteen year old, mm. you sign a plan from Maxis, and then you you want to pay until eighty years old. Then Maxis calculated per month hundred ringgit, so they give you a total value of eighty thousand. And then you cannot afford the eighty thousand. Then you go to Maybank and apply eighty thousand loan to pay my <laughs> All right, and then you pay Maybank back with interest. That is how people are buying cars now. The margin that was supposed to earn by the dealers and the car makers, or the savings that was supposed to enjoy by the buyers, by were the all, buyers, were all taken up by the banks. The banks actually earn the largest chunk of profit from you buying a car without doing literally anything, not producing mm. the car or whatever. And this resulted in car makers have to churn out cars from their factories at crazy amounts and then earning 2%, 3% margin. Yeah. Yeah. Dealers yeah. also earn 2%, 3% margin. Obviously. Nonsense. But mm. the banks are earning 2 3% per year. Yeah. For each car. For each car, correct. At least correct. 2%. It's only yeah. recently that the interest is so low. Yeah. So if the, the car makers, if the car makers operate like telcos, like Maxis and all that, right? The cars you have is your asset, is your is your is your numbers, right? You go and lease for a brand new XC90, you pay uh, let's say three thousand per month, and then after two years you return the car, and then another person go to Volvo and say, hey, I don't want a brand new one, I want a two year one. Oh, two year is two thousand three, wow, seven hundred ringgit cheaper. Okay, I want this one. Then after two years you return the car, another person go to Volvo and say, hey, I want a four year one. Or oh, four year is only thousand eight. Wow, nice. Then you get a four year. So at the end, right, you have someone who goes to Uber and say, "Hey, uh, I want an XC ninety that is uh eighteen year." Is it ridiculous? It's not because if Volvo is taking care of the car, I mean these cars can last long. Okay, don't talk about hybrid, lah. Huh? What I mean mm. is these cars can continue generate income for the car maker if car maker takes care of them and maintain them nicely. Mm. And oh well, this is too far a topic, lah. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Any yeah. Uh, Jet Tan is asking XC sixty compared to GLC and X three. Well, the GLC, XC GLC is gonna be replaced soon. So yeah. no, when you know there's a new C class coming, that means a new GLC is coming. Yeah. So it's the oldest car here. Uh, yeah. X3 is oh. not bad, but you can't be the X3. Mm. X3 is not bad, but yeah. Volvo. But XC60. you 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 can't you can't you can't argue against the XC60 lah. But Chu Yang's <laughs> opinions on Volvo are not counted. Yeah, bias on control and You ask me anything, they got Volvo. It's Volvo. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> so um, I think I think on a purely purely subject uh, you put, I mean purely objective measure. I I would I find it very difficult to argue against the XC60. To me, the specs uh, cannot be fought. La. That's, you yeah. just cannot fight hmm. the specs uh, of the XC60. Yeah. Uh, X3, I find it to be more quiet in terms of yeah. soundproofing. Yeah. But when the XC60 is cruising in their hybrid petrol combustion, that kind of mode, right? Mm -hmm. You cannot beat a, 
a hybrid car rolling off quietly seriously is it's just mm -hmm. super quiet but if you are uh, but if you're a regular uh long distance driver then mm -hmm. maybe i would i would lean more a, a bit more towards the bmw instead don't you know, forget the volvo seats <laughs> what? the volvo seats oh yeah that's true uh, i mean I was, because I was thinking about the refueling the x60 has a very small tank though. I think uh, in this segment, right, people don't really compare spec. Of course, this question is posed as XC60 versus GLC yeah, versus XC. Yeah. End of the day, you will go to the brand that you most affiliate yourself with. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Unless you can look past the logos, then you're like, which is objectively the car that's most suited for me. Mm. Mm. Then in most cases, it will either go towards the X3 or or uh Volvo because mm. Mercedes is also edged towards more a comfort kind of yeah. edge ma. Yeah. and the BMW of course is a sportier drive mm. then uh, if you put not not comfort, exactly when it comes to SUV though no. when it comes to SUV not exactly uh, I would mm. say the only sporty one is Porsche you know mm. I think I think all three cars are okay I've driven all three cars I I, mm. I love all three cars honestly speaking I enjoy the drive in the GLC as well. And to me, the pre facelift GLC is really beautiful. The yeah. facelift one, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I prefer the pre facelifted front, to be honest. Mm. And then mm. the X3 is just so comfortable, so pliant. Yeah. Yeah. The drive is yeah. fantastic. I, I can't fault the car as well. But of course, the, the X60 would have all the specs, all the stuff that I love. Yeah. But granted, it's a hybrid. So if you are someone who take a nine-year loan, you want to own your car for a very long time, you have to put this into consideration. It is yeah. a hybrid. Batteries after seven, eight years, they will deteriorate. Yeah. yeah. But somehow of all three <coughs> hybrid brands in Malaysia, right, Volvo somehow has the strongest resale value. Yeah. The other two they, just cannot they, hide. You know? They seem unaffected. They seem unaffected at all that, you know, because when you look at totally the uh, unaffected. Yeah. Uh, resale value of an XC60, XC90, T5 versus T8, right, is next yeah. to no different. Mm. Yeah. Right, it I... or, or rather it reflects the actual the price difference that they had when they were yeah. new. Yeah. Whereas if you mm. look at a BMW 330e versus a 330i or 320i, oof. Mm. Yeah. Big yeah. And I enjoy the most in the XC60 uh, of all these three. Like, I enjoy the most uh, because of the yeah. power, the 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 powers and Wilkins car the sound system. Uh, oh, you know, the, the, I, think, I think I have to make one observation between these three yeah. cars, right? Yeah. The XC60 that we T8 is the best of what Volvo has to offer with the XC60. Whereas the GLC that you get in Malaysia or the actually you get in Malaysia, it's more like they are, you know, they are mid-tier. Mid uh, yeah. offerings like not real it's like there are mm -hmm. certain things that you know they have better barang in there in other markets yeah. but <clears throat> they pack mm. it out because and then the 43 the is a crazy price the 43 mm. is just crazy the price mm. even though it's fantastic right mm. uh yeah so yeah there you have it uh mm. hope you 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 understand more uh yeah. what else con you picked up uh okay there was Okay, YC Ng asks, is it a practice for dealers to ask for deposit just to take the car out for a test drive? Depends or... It, it really depends. This is a it, highly there's unregulated... No, tenant, no uh, it's, it's unregulated. It's, it's, it's YC talking new car or used car? I think she's asking used car, right? Color. I believe it's because used car. New car by, by right. Anybody can come in for demo yeah. karma. Yeah, you just yeah. need yeah. Uh, IC and license. Yeah. And, and of uh, course, uh, document. Remember, it's remember there was a local, local, local website that 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 pull some stupid stuff. It's a YouTube channel. They asked someone mm. to wear singular and like yeah. really crappy and walk into a dealership asking for a test drive of the Porsche. Mm. And then the salesman say, "Oh, sorry, uh, um, cannot la, not available mm. la, blah 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 blah." And then they try to position it as the salesman as or the dealer the is discriminating. Mm. Come on, man. Yeah. If, if I'm selling a car, you simply walk in and then you say you want to test drive. Uh. Come yeah. on, man. You see, the <laughs> customer service right? has a limit. Customer service yeah, has a limit. Correct. Right? And the if thing I is sell that, great, 
if I sell bread, yeah, maybe you know, I can customer service you. Right? I can give I'm you a sample. Cars, and take I'm selling yeah. cars, easily 40, yeah. 50, 000, 400, 500,000. You think you yeah. want a test drive? Right? Who are you? It's, no- <laughs> it's not a matter of discriminate or, or, or letting you test drive. It's the risk. It's not the yeah. upfront the whether risk. or not I should let you test drive. It's mm-hmm. the risk. If okay. you wear sloppy, you 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 know you don't dress yeah. up, you look like shit, you come in, then you say you want to test drive. Of course, mm. it will be a case to case basis. So okay. we need to filter first whether or not mm. you are seriously trying to get this car. If you are mm. seriously trying to get this car, you have the financial means and everything. Of course, I will let you test drive. But yeah, what yeah. if you are you know slightly psycho? Then you just want to drive cars before you die. Then you drive this car. Then you long cut. Then. Just like the, 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 the Porsche, la, the Porsche in Pinang. Like the Porsche? Who, who rush out of the showroom. <laughs> then go up the showroom. Can I hang up, lock up, then he sneak back into the police center, the, yeah, yeah. the Balai police, and then took it out again. Yang, Yang, did you know what he brought together when he sneaked into the police station? He brought Few petrol. Time. He brought yes, a kind of petrol. The car. <laughs> <laughs> Champion, Land okay, YC girl. has said it's a used car. Okay, uh, YC, <clears throat> real. Uh, let's 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 try and imagine this. Uh. used cars normally they are parked like stacked rows by rows, right? If you walk in there and say, uh, or you ask a few questions and say, hey, can I test drive? Uh? Mm. And when the salesman or then say, oh, you know, you put a booking lah, then uh, it may offend you, but it also indicates you are a real uh, yes. buyer. You are not a time waster, yeah. right? Imagine so you test this, later you test that, and that Correct. they have to move how many cars out? Correct. Yeah, you know? So ah. many people come in to drop the top and because it's linked to the cafe, they want to test drive every single car. Mm. Cannot. How? But mm. the thing is, why this is discriminatory for you, but it is very fair. It's because if you are not the one that buys this car, then you end up driving it around, like, having fun, like, launch control, like, this and that. Then the next buyer, how how are they gonna feel you knowing are, that you are adding you are adding, you are adding unnecessary mileage, mileage. and yeah. wear and tear to the car and yeah. risk as well. Yeah, you see, whereas yeah. with a new car, with new cars, mm. dealerships have a separate test drive car that and is designed car. to wear the mileage and yeah. And, yeah. and wear and tear. Yeah. But whereas when you're in the views or recon market. Each yeah. car is specific, it's you know. Individual, yeah. yeah. That yeah. car is going to a buyer one day. Mm. So they have to own, they have to, in a way, filter it. Uh, mm. Maybe, okay, maybe I, I would, for me, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't buy a car if they don't let me test drive it. Lah, okay. Mm. Uh, but I think it's more about how the buyer communicates his or her seriousness. It depends yeah. on what, right. what kind of car is yeah. When you're buying like your E39, right? Of course, you need to drive it. Right. Yes. But yes. But it also uh, YC. I just want to answer. Imagine you test drive the car. You are not people like me or Con. You know, how much can you tell? Compared mm-hmm. to you send the car to a workshop, ask them to check. That's why we we have Evo Club extended warranty and the workshops. You know, seventy yeah. Yeah. forty yeah. Yeah. center, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Because those people jack the car up. They can yeah. check way more things than you do. Yeah. Now right. then it comes to. Can I just request any car to check? The dealer usually is okay. If you really like the car, you look through everything. Mm. Uh, let's let's discuss. Discuss. What does it mean by discuss? You ask the dealer. Can you fix this rubber seal for me? Uh? Then the dealer think. Okay, I have some margin. Okay, I can fix for you. Uh, can you change me new wipers? Uh? I okay lah. I throw in for you lah. You know? Can you can you this? Can you that? Everything write down on the piece of paper where you guys are agreeing to the terms. Right mm. when you reach that point, which indicates you are a genuine buyer, that means you have done your survey. Survey meaning what you only survey the color you want, the condition you want, the mileage that the car is, and the price, and whether you look at the car inside outside, you are happy with it or not. Then once you 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 find it down to the choice that hey, this one is the one that I think I want to pursue, then you tell the dealer, okay, I'm 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 buying this car. Let's go for this. And then the next step immediately is they say, okay, uh, you pay a booking lah because you need to process loan lah. The mm. 1,000 ringgit or 2,000 ringgit booking usually is refundable. All right? Yeah, it uh, should be 100%. Would, yeah. For dealers, 
most of them they would they would happily refund to you with your loan don't approve or whatever whatnot. For private sellers, private seller they're gonna turn on your deposit. Uh, if you if you give the private seller a deposit and then you decided not to buy it, they have every right to to forfeit your your, yeah. your deposit. Okay. Anyway, and then after that, once you establish all this, you put an initial booking, a thousand ringgit like that. Okay, immediately send for inspection. At this stage, the dealer will be very willing to bring the car for inspection or even yeah. letting you drive because you prepare your documents already. You you guys sit down and talk about the price already. You guys have established that you are a genuine buyer. The dealer would very likely say, okay, is it okay if you drive around the lot, you know? Then, then the dealer will let you drive. But if you're provided you're someone who can really tell things from driving it, right? A lot of modern cars, F10, BMW, you cannot, you cannot tell, you can't hear you things. Tell one, uh. yeah, yeah, you can't hear things. So you bring the car to a dealer, they jack it up, they check everything, check for oil leaks, you know, check all this and to make sure there's no major issue. I don't mm. think, I think the, the workshops are fair as well. If they see wear and tear, I mean, wear and tear is fair. La. Look at the car year, you know, six year, yeah. five year car. Yeah. These things are acceptable. They mm. only look for major stuff Broken, for you, right? Yeah, major stuff. Like the gearbox is leaking oil, la, you know, and all that. Then yeah. that's, a, that's, a, that's a big, big, big thing, right? Because yeah. to fix it, mm. it costs a lot of money. Mm. Then the dealer will tell you whether you should proceed with it or not. If the dealer, yeah. uh, if the workshop tells you, okay, I think this car is okay, then you proceed with it. And if you want to buy an extended warranty, you can buy it from us because uh, uh, we that's that's why we we, we prepare this for, for, for you to safeguard mm. you, all right? Mm. So that's mm. the rough process. I'll give a personal uh, example. When I bought my Audi S4, the black color one, uh, after I got the, I, I, I went there, you know, and uh, uh, I got the, the 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 VIN number and all that, right? I actually asked my friend from Audi to 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 gather all the details from their global global site. So they printed like a super thick paper for me, which includes what date this car arrived at the dealer in in UK, <clears throat> what date the car was sold, and what date the customer picked up the car. What was the first complaint from the customer? And the first complaint from the customer, what did they fix? You know, so it was the first batch S4 and uh, the dealer actually fixed something to do with the with the sunroof, I remember, or the side mirror mm. and all that. I see all these details. And then the car was involved in an accident. All right? It was, it was an accident car. But because the dealer is selling the car to me at 100,000 cheaper than the market price, so the, the time the market price was 330. Uh, bank loan approved 330. I got the car on the road for 240. So I actually mm. bought the car for 230. So what of course I checked what was the accident. The accident was involved the front fender, which includes the headlamp, the bumper, the front fender. Now, for normal people like you all be EO accident car, I'm not buying. For people like me, con che, fender, bumper, headlight, ma. It never the, touched the, the, the main chassis of the car, the yeah. chassis of the car, yeah. right? For me, that's nothing because mm -hmm. replace the front fender, replace the headlamp, replace the bumper, boom, done. Yeah. Okay, right? yeah. Maybe the bonnet as well. So I need to drive the car. So when I drove the car, I press it, you know, from Bangsa, I push it, you know, all the way to Jalan Hang Tua, the flyover and all that. If the car drives weird, then I won't buy. Mm. Right? But the car did not drive weird. That means yeah. it's, it doesn't drive weird. You know, it tracks its line really well, corners really well, it sits really well, yeah. suspension. So okay, then I'm comfortable to buy. So that's the difference. What I'm that I'm saying that about judging. You know, mm. to be honest, uh, this whole accident-free thing, you you have to know what you are going into and yeah. and how bad the accident is. To me, yeah. uh, a fender. A bonnet, a headlamp, a bumper, to me, that's not considered an accident at all. To me, because yeah. <laughs> those are just replaceable items. They replace yeah. it, you look at it, whether it's fitted well. Even if it's not fitted well, it can be adjusted. Huh? Let me tell you all, it can be adjusted. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's not difficult to fix all this. Yeah. So sometimes, yeah. don't don't say that, hey, you, uh, I bought a car from you. Then after that, I found out it's an accident. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, just, 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 uh, of course, I don't expect all of you to, to be like us, to be able to be so comfortable in, in judging something like that and then go ahead buying it. But I'm just sharing that part of, 
I insist to drive the car because I already know it, it was involved in a small accident, but because of the discount I'm getting, it's, it's one third, it's 30% of the car price. Eh? Mm. Right? At the time, the, I was working at Carlis, the, the bank approved, then the dealer told me, hey, bank approved 330, you want to take 90K to spend or not? I said, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm only taking the price of the car, that's it. So again, that's another car that I bought yeah. with documents only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and, just something to share. And actually, the thing is that, right, for me, even if I, you, there, there are certain things that we can tell from the driving mm. experience, but I would still, the, the more important assessment actually is when you check the car up and see what's underneath you know check out for 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 accidents like fender benders that one are entirely okay one but mm -hmm. if let's say you see unnatural bends or welding at the chassis then yeah or or, or severe I, rust spots then yeah that's, that's, that's what experience I'm... workshop uh, they can jack the car up look at the underbody and roughly tell the mileage also uh. yeah true this one the looks weird this one looks fishy this one looks fishy yeah the time uh, i i, I here. my my rs6 right is it was like what 30 30 000 mileage uh, 30 yeah. 33 uh, yeah. yeah and then and i said wait mileage so low real uh. then it was like look at the undercarriage very lightly yeah uh. mm. so clean you know, everything is 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 you know is 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 the condition of the undercarriage uh. Mm. so yeah yeah that's that's, that's what it is mm. all right uh so i i i don't think we're we're gonna go for any other questions it's been two hours yeah all right we're gonna so... cut it here uh thank you so much for joining our session yeah. we will try and take note of the other questions and we'll reply it in our next uh and uh, thank you so much Chu Yang. thanks for thank sharing you, you. your knowledge and uh well, con, we've been talking for two hours without break eh? zero eh? we've been doing this every week bro <laughs> and, 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 and i'm so happy today i don't feel tired talking you know all of us yeah. Yeah. that's oh. good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it must be the it must be the maybe something you ate i guess <laughs> uh, anyway uh, anyways guys <laughs> thank you so much all for joining us today yeah uh, yeah yeah and uh well we'll still be here next week once again uh, same time same day uh yeah but most important all of you guys out there take care mm -hmm. stay safe uh yeah take your vaccines yeah once all this is over we will celebrate this for oh, the drive. i want to go to Chu yang's drop the top cafe i miss your coffee can you hey, make one movie and then lala move over here yeah, lo, I miss my coffee too, too man. Wow. Oh, my shop oh, has yeah, to be open. You cannot go to your shop. Cannot. Wait, cannot. you are a cafe, right? By right, you can open operate. Right? Ha, we thought that was uh, our uh, advantage. Okay. That's, a pantry, up, it's... that's a pantry of a car dealer. No, 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 no <laughs> it's registered as a cafe. But okay. because it's registered as a cafe, the premise is within a car showroom. They're like, no, it's if you open there, confirm you get people to see car one. That's their reasoning. <laughs> then they don't let you open. Oh. They were like, yeah. Ayo. Uh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay guys uh, okay guys thank, thank you so, so much. much for joining us uh and, we'll uh, see you uh, again uh, same time next week and uh for the rest of the week there will still be more live shows alex tamra on wednesday tana with thomas and rachel on thursday and of course uh <laughs> thomas on top gear friday night always <laughs> gonna to that. where's my oh, car yeah, night. and uh Chu Yang, Chu Yang, really go check out lucentia <laughs> it's something you want. You want to buy a house in KL, right? So it is connected to everything. You go and check it out. Okay, go watch my video. Go watch my video. So uh, for those of you here who are who want to know more about what's going on with BBCC, uh, go watch my video. Go check it out. All right. Yeah, go check it out. Okay. Okay. Good night. Bye. Right. Take care. Good night. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.